Having had the opportunity recently of reviewing and riding the awesome muscle bike of Triumph in the shape of the Rocket 3, we managed to get our hands on the muscle bike of Moto Guzzi. And the bike I'm talking about, the bike behind me, is the Moto Guzzi Odace. It's not just any Odace, it's the last of the last very special limited edition carbon series. This Moto Guzzi or Dace started life as a California in 1971. And as the name implies, Moto Guzzi designed a model called California for the American market as a cruiser and took into account what the Americans look for in a cruiser. Now that model was produced till about 2015 and then Moto Guzzi decided to become bold, took that model, renamed it the Moto Guzzi or Dace. And you see it here in the name and that Odace is Italian for audacious. Now the concept was to change it from a cruiser to a muscle bike. Cruiser had the traditional running boards over here and you moved to foot pegs on this. Now this is the final edition known as the Carbon, very limited, very special. There was three models known as a Carbon. There was a V7 Carbon limited edition and numbered which we as Route 21 bought number 1162 of 1921 as per the birthday of Maraguzzi. Then came the Audace Carbon, which is this one before us here. And the third in the series was the MGX-21 Flying Fortress in Carbon. And that we reviewed recently in Cape Town. Now they got the name Carbon because they have all this carbon fiber, front mud guard around the tank. That is not a wrap, that's not hydro dip, that is proper, proper carbon fiber with a matte clear coat over it. The rest of the bike has this matte black paint on it complete blackout to give it that gothic look rear view mirrors are black handlebars are black clocks headlights even exhaust that those mans, ma massive sorry massive megaphone exhausts are also blacked out so the whole bike is blacked out having a look at the bike in more detail then if you look at that front wheel if you look at the, those spokes really look like spoked wheels if you look from the top they like even cross over but it's a mag wheel and it's an 18 inch shod with a 130 mil tire the dual Brembo four piston calipers also highlighted in red and the rear rim is a 16 inch with an oversized 200 the 16 inch to give it that curvature but again look at those thin spokes look like a spoked wheel from here they have that crossover with the little red Moto Guzzi accents you will see the shaft drive to the rear traditional Moto Guzzi the rear suspension is dual shock either side these massive megaphone type exhausts really look fantastic on this bike. Gives it that real stance. The rear mudguard with those LED lights in the back finishes it off really nicely. And the highlight of this bike is obviously highlighting the iconic transverse and oil cooled motor of Moto Guzzi. And on this carbon series, they are painted out with this matte Mandelo Rosso, as they call it just highlighting the transverse layout. So you have just a few red accents from your Brembo calipers, the little bit of Moto Guzzi on the rims, the heads, as well as the red stitching. Now, even when riding, being in this position, you just see either side of the tank with a carbon, you see the carbon, and then you see the head stick out. Just exquisite. The clocks, look how pretty that clock is. Analog around the outside giving you the RPMs over here gear selector Veloce one of your three rider modes odometer fuel range temperature speedo and Three rider modes Veloce Turismo and Piaggio which is sport touring and rain so overall Massive 1400 cc motor exact size is a 1380 cc it gives you 96 horsepower, 121 newton meters. Not as wild as the Rocket at 221, but 121 is a proper muscle type bike performance. But I would say very manageable and rideable. Attention to detail is unbelievable. And I think that the, the, the ending of this model's life came about because of Euro Emissions 5. This is a Euro Emissions 4 motor, and I don't think they got this motor to be Euro emission five conformant but from any angle looking at this bike it is just the front single headlight single clock makes it look light in front and wide tank 
oversized rear wheel, dual shocks at the back, that gothic paint job with those red heads. From anywhere, any angle, this bike is absolutely exquisite. Attention to detail all over. You have your cruise control for a cruiser, your indicators, and a few rider modes here. Very minimalistic, clean controls up front, and just overall. Very comfortable seat, smaller pillion seat at the back. You can even remove the pillion seat to make it look more of a, a, a monoposto, single rider muscle bike look. But I think what an absolute piece of art made in Mandelo Delario, original factory where they started life. And what a way to end the life of the Odace model in this carbon series. I think let's get on, let's ride and see what she behaves like on the road. The first thing you notice when straddling this bike is this big massive tank, these carbon pieces on the outside with the red heads either side of the traditional Moto Guzzi 90 degree V twin mounted transversely. It's an air and oil cooled motor, as all of them. However, this is the monstrous 1400, 1380cc to be exact, produces 96 horsepower and a uh, monstrous 121 newton meters this is the euro 4 and therefore uh, last of these big motors with euro 5 they couldn't produce these anymore now this gothic black look there we go that's the torque no problem with this bike rolling on from second gear third gear this bike has the complete gothic look. If you look at it, it's matte black right through. Everything is matte black. Your dragster bars coming back over here. Your clocks, your triple clamp, your indicators, your rear view mirrors, switch gear. Everything is matte black. Even if you look on the side, your headlamp. And it's really a nice look over the handlebars here. Very minimalistic, simplistic. Looks light because you only have the one clock one headlight so just makes it look lighter and nimbler than it really is and the clock very reminiscent of the clocks of the Moto Guzzi Flying Fortress MGX 21 that we tested recently in Cape Town it's sort of retro modern you have the rev counter around the outside and the speedo and all the digital info in the center the mgx flying fortress had two of these side by side the left one with the rev counter around the outside the right one with speedo and then radio info left and that so all around really nice looks like light this bike tracks really nicely no hands it, it's nimble if i move my weight it's just really nice with a gear indicator your rider mode, I don't know if you can see underneath the speed, over here it says Veloce, which is your sporty mode. You have three rider modes, Veloce for sporty, Turismo for touring, and then you have your Piaggia for your rain mode. So, everything built in on this bike. If you look over here, your cruise control, coming from a cruiser, now evolved into a muscle bike. Here, simplistic the clocks just from the back looks really nice your pegs are mounted sort of mid forward a lot of space between your shins and the motor so nice comfortable seating position whether you're a short rider or a lanky rider over six foot you will be comfortable on this bike soft seat soft padding suspension not too hard and all around a really compact machine it feels a lot smaller when you're riding it than when you walk up to it I just love this twin motor as you rev it it rocks over to the right shaft drive is something really fantastic you can short shift on this bike because you're riding it in the torque curve I'm at 60 k's an hour in fifth gear already really smooth i've noticed sometimes getting neutral is a little bit tricky but the rest of the gears through the gearbox when in motion very positive you know the gears in and all around 
I must say, I really like this matte black finish on everything. Mirrors, bars, clocks, triple clamps, really, on the tank, this finishing. That carbon, as mentioned before, this is real carbon. It's not coated or dipped. That is proper. And I must say, a real pleasant experience. This is a bike that's had a long life. If you think of the original California, started somewhere in 1971. The California was always based on a cruiser, as the name mentions, for the Californian market. And in the last few years, was then changed into a muscle bike known as the Audace for Audacious. The foot running boards have been changed to pegs, foot pegs, and just if I roll on here. Smooth and quiet this bike, really smooth. And handles really well in the bends. Feels nimble. If I swing it around a bit, real nimble. You can ride it real sporty downshift. We have tested the three now, the Moto Guzzi V7 Carbon with the red heads and the red Rambo calipers, then the Flying Fortress MGX, the Carbon with the red head, and this the third in the Carbon series, the Audace. We have had a quick look at them side by side, all three of them, this the Gothic Carbon series of Moto Guzzi. This Odace was produced up until 2017-2018 when it was then discontinued and I think that had a lot to do with the Euro 5 emissions and this motor couldn't conform to that. So sadly no more 1400s for Moto Guzzi but I'm sure they will be coming back with something else. mountain roads are absolutely effortless on a bike like this it handles the twisties it is not a tiring machine that you have to muscle around bends it flows you don't have to work the gearbox hard due to the high torque and it is stiff enough and soft enough at the same time to absorb these not so well maintained roads as you can see in front of me here not the best of roads but not a problem for this bike a really well sorted well refined bike i think what we do is we will shoot out to some faster stretches to see what speed feels like because there is no screen on this bike so just to feel what it feels like with the wind buffeting but I think on muscle bikes it's not something that you have on your priority list you really want to do the pull off and the roll ons on the high speed runs that's when you would get yourself a super bike but I think this is the beauty with the different genres of bikes you get you can have a bike that gives you smiles at 160 onwards and then you get bikes that give you smiles in the dirt and off-road and these muscle bikes they can give you a smile from roll-on from 20 to 60 kilometers an hour or 40 to 60 kilometers an hour when you just get onto that throttle and roll it on that's when these bikes give you that big smile you don't really have to roll it on that hard to excite yourself and give a smile on your face lane splitting also not much of a problem on this Audace however you need to remember those megaphone exhausts at the back they are fairly wide and you wouldn't want to scrape them against one of the cars so not the friendliest of BMW drivers 
side here, VW riders are on our side. Thank you guys. I think this would be a bit of an imposing sight. Mad Max, crazy guy on this blackout gothic bike coming up behind you. Just, it is a imposing sight. And if you see this coming up in your rear view mirror, I hope you've enjoyed this episode with us on the Moto Guzzi or Dace Carbon and please remember to give us a like, a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Route 21 for more.